all of you are here at an AI conference, so you probably all know about Nick Bostrom's paperclip maximizer. You know, the idea of the AI with the rogue optimization function uh, decides it's got to make paperclips and humans are in the way. Uh, and in a certain way, it's, it seemed to me that this hyper competitive uh, situation that you describe in China is itself a kind of example of a paperclip maximizer, where in our society, uh, we are relentlessly optimizing for a certain kind of wealth, mm -hmm. a certain kind of productivity, uh, to the exclusion of human life. When you, you talk about 996 as the, um, you know, the model mm -hmm. for how people work. And you had an experience that you talk about in the book that made you question that. Can you share that with us? Yeah, absolutely. I was uh, a super workaholic. I used to wake up at 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock every night uh, because I knew I had to check email. I was working for Google and Microsoft in China, so I wanted to make sure my emails were current. Um, I used to work 996. I used to put work at priority for everything and leave little whatever time I had left for my family. But um, I was diagnosed four years ago, five years ago, with uh, fourth stage lymphoma. And that early diagnosis really didn't look promising. And when I felt I had maybe months to live, I suddenly reflected on my life as this self-optimizing paperclip. And it was um, uh, ridiculous how I lived my life. Um, and none of the things I optimized, I cared at all, uh, meant nothing to me. My work, success, money, fame meant nothing at all. The only thing I wanted to do was to spend more time with my family and uh, regret that I hadn't done that. So that was the moment when I came to realize for myself, I need to change my ways. Uh, fortunately, um, my cancer is in remission. So I'm able to spend a lot more time with my family. Uh, when my kids come home, I drop everything from work. Uh, I, I focus on their vacation time, not my vacation time. My wife travels wherever we go. And, and I think that experience also comes into part of this book in thinking that maybe the solution to AI taking the routine jobs is that the routine jobs makes us all into these paper clips. And we need to take a step back and think where humanity put on earth to repetitively do all this work or is there something bigger to it? So that's why I ended with the conclusion that uh, we will one day thank AI for taking away the routine jobs and our workaholism and really let us think uh, why we live on this earth. I think that's beautiful. Thank you.